Hello everyone. My name is Lakshman Rao and today I am going to talk about the Amazon Machine Learning Engineer interview process. At the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of the process itself, what interviewers look at and a bunch of tips for each round. Quick intro. I am from Prepfully. This video has been put together by Amazon Machine Learning engineers who are also interview coaches on Prepfully. They have coached hundreds of candidates successfully and are available on the website for direct booking if you're looking for more personalized guidance. Right then, moving on to the interview. The Amazon Machine Learning Engineer interview process typically consists of four rounds phone screen with a recruiter, online assessment, technical interview, and on site interviews. Let's discuss each of these in detail. So, the initial phone screen is basically a get to know you call with the recruiter that lasts 45 minutes to one hour and goes as follows. The initial 15 minutes revolve around your background and past experiences. This would be questions like, tell me about yourself or tell me about a time you were innovative, etc. So to begin with, make sure you have a short and crisp introduction ready to go. You can also include a memorable nugget about yourself that can help you stand out. Next, be prepared for questions about your previous roles, projects you've worked on, and how your skills align with the position. Gather your thoughts about your previous work experiences and decide ahead which specific projects you will discuss. Focus on topics like what your contribution was, how things went, and what you could have done better and be prepared to highlight your achievements and challenges you have overcome. The next 15 minutes will focus on your understanding of machine learning concepts. You might be asked about handling challenges like imbalanced data sets, overfitting, or troubleshooting. Here, be sure to demonstrate a solid grasp of the technical basics. Moving on, a good 25 minutes of this screen will be dedicated to coding questions, but don't worry. If your practice on platforms like LeetCode is on point, you should be able to get through this segment with relative ease. Lastly, there will be about five minutes remaining where you will be able to ask any questions you might have. Feel free to inquire about the job role, company culture, upcoming interview rounds, or anything else you would like to know more about. Right then, moving to the next round, the online assessment. This one spans about three hours and includes a mix of coding, debugging, logical reasoning, and psychometric evaluations. Here are three tips for this round. Number one, the debugging exercises are designed to assess your knack for identifying and rectifying code errors. So to excel here, I recommend practicing coding challenges that involve identifying and rectifying bugs. Websites like HackerRank and LeetCode have great debugging exercises. The same goes for the coding section that touches a wide array of topics, such as arrays, strings, trees, graphs, and dynamic programming. Next, for the logical reasoning segment, I suggest you work on logical puzzles and scenarios that require you to think critically and make sound judgments. This will help you get comfortable with diverse problem-solving situations. Lastly, the psychometric evaluation is to assess your personality traits and work style. Make sure you take some time to reflect on those. Focus on your strengths, weaknesses, communication style, how you approach teamwork, etc. Also research about Amazon's values and the specific role you are applying for. This will help you provide genuine responses. Now, if you get through this round, you will move to the technical screen, which typically consists of one or two phone interviews and include both technical and behavioral questions. I have three tips for this round. Number one, for the technical part, get ready for the typical data structure and algorithm questions. You will need to crack these using a collaborative text editor like Collabedit. The catch is the editor won't have syntax highlighting or autocomplete features. So make sure to get comfy with this during your prep. 
Plus, even though you are gunning for a machine learning role, your recruiter might touch upon a few software development topics. So, make sure you review your technical fundamentals and practice data structures and algorithms on LeetCode. Next, for the behavioral portion, make sure to show your alignment with Amazon's values since the questions will largely pertain to Amazon's leadership principles. Brush upon those really well. Lastly, my most important tip, practice as many times as you need with a friend, colleague, or even a professional to get better at explaining your problem-solving approach and communicating your thought process. You will find several Amazon machine learning engineers on Prepfully who would be happy to help you out with your practice and provide personalized guidance. Book a technical screen style session with them directly at your convenience. The link is in the description. Okay then, now we move to the on-site round which includes four to five technical and design-oriented interviews lasting 45 minutes to 60 minutes each. You will be face-to-face -face with various individuals from the team you are applying to join. Could be team members, lead, the hiring manager, and possibly even a senior executive. Here's breaking down the different rounds for you. Firstly, the coding interviews. This is where you will typically be presented with algorithm and data structure questions and asked to solve it. So this could be something like implementing an algorithm to find the shortest path between two points or checking if a string is a palindrome. Next are the system design interviews, which assess your ability to design scalable and efficient systems. You will be asked to create a high-level design for a modern technology system like AWS or Amazon.com. For instance, design a fault-tolerant system for handling user authentication and authorization in a distributed application. Lastly, there is the machine learning design interview. Here, you will be given a problem and asked to present an approach that leverages machine learning techniques to solve it. For example, propose a machine learning solution to predict customer preferences based on their previous shopping history. I have two broad tips for this round. First, the goal of the on-site round is multifold. They want to assess your technical skills cultural fit, as well as your ability to communicate your ideas effectively. So to begin with, you need to make sure you have studied coding fundamentals and have a solid understanding of system design principles and machine learning concepts. Show that you can apply your knowledge of machine learning to real world scenarios and can deliver optimal solutions that factor scalability, reliability, architecture, etc. Throughout the interview, Communicate your ideas effectively. Ask questions wherever needed. Factor in input feedback from your interviewers and essentially collaborate with them through the solution. Next, my best advice for this round, however, is to practice multiple times. As you can imagine, there is a ton of ground to cover and just being prepared with the content isn't enough. You need to brace yourself for an interview environment where you could be asked something unexpected or where the interview might veer off into a tangent you thought was unimportant but turns out to be the sole focus for the interviewer. Plus, at the end of the day, you have only 45 to 60 minutes to cover an enormous amount of territory where you need to answer all these questions in a way adequately demonstrates the full range of your competence and fit. So practice is the key. You could ask friends for help or utilize a professional platform like Prefully to practice with experienced Amazon machine learning engineers who have been mentoring hundreds of candidates. Book a session with them directly from the link in the description. Right, that's all from us. Lots of additional helpful resources in the description don't forget to check them out. If you found this video helpful, do like and subscribe. Thanks and good luck. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe. Our website is prepfully.com.
We've got lots of interview questions there. You can also schedule a mock interview with one of our experts. You can find the link in the description below. All the best from us at Prepfully, and we hope you totally rock your interview. <laughs>